Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto, then you are in the right place. Today we have got some massive updates for XDC. We are going to be talking about the latest on the ISO adoption. We shall also cover the latest on MLETR adoption and how far and wide XDC has already been adopted across the globe. And last but not least, the latest RWA partnership, which is going to be massive for this year and the next. So I hope you will watch to the end. We shall continue right after this intro. Looking at coin market cap. Currently, the total market cap is 2.04 trillion down by about 2%. Bitcoin is at 58k and Ethereum at 2.5k. So once again, the markets are in the red. As expected, we are ranging at the moment. And why is this happening? It's because of all the world events right now. Because all the problems they are facing today are going to lead to, first of all, crypto being adopted. And secondly, crypto being that solution blockchain is the savior guys and right now when you look at the crypto market with all these low prices it's your chance to dca in to your favorite cryptos for a discount talking quickly about some crypto news resistant builds against the warren anti-crypto agenda so senator warren has promised to rally an anti-crypto army and proposed bills that try to control crypto from a regulatory lens and i am sure guys we are gonna have kyc on our self custody wallets it's only a matter of time because they want to watch every single transaction you do you're not going to be able to have that total financial freedom even though i totally disagree with these terms i think everything is happening because it needs to happen for crypto to have that global adoption and global regulation but regardless, guys, they cannot stop the crypto adoption from being global. This is just a show. Some more updates from the IMF as they say crypto industry's carbon footprint is rising. And they are proposing a 85% tax hike on crypto mining businesses to incentivize the adoption of cleaner practices. Now this was very well expected because mining crypto costs a lot of money and Bitcoin is in target right now. Bitcoin is the one that is energy intensive and costs the earth too much and does not fit in with the agenda to be a green energy source. So guys, I think Bitcoin, maybe it's time's gonna be up unless obviously they come together, they decide to change the code and maybe no longer mine it and have a limited supply. But either way, I think Bitcoin's time is up. That's why I always say on my channel, invest in utility because utility is going to win the damn day. And just before we move on to the main news for XTC, I have a second channel called Crypto Utility. The link is at the top of the video, guys. Please click the link and subscribe to the channel because I only talk about utility on this channel every single week. So don't miss out. Looking at the XDC chart currently at 2.6 cents, the total market cap for XDC is hovering around 391 million. But something to note here, guys, is that the 24 hour volume has gone up by 14% to $7 million. And that is just the beginning volume, in my opinion. Because once everything is set and done, once regulations are here, I believe this volume is going to be in the hundreds of millions just to begin with. And we might end up with trillions to quadrillions in the longer term. Because as you will see today, more and more people are joining for RWA, which is a quadrillion dollar opportunity because you're talking about all the damn value, everything of value to be put on the blockchain and XDC is leading this transformation. So once again, guys, at 2.6 cents, it's an amazing DCing an opportunity. Looking at it from CoinCal, I envisioned a future where, like in the Matrix, we break free from limitations and with the power of XDC, embrace a decentralized world full of possibilities. And while I agree that a lot of movies that we have watched in the past and we are watching right now, 
do give a lot of subliminal programming. And that means they prepare our mind mentally for what is to come. And most of the time, a lot of the movies don't exactly tell you what's going to happen, but it is normally along the same lines. And yes, I do see that XDC is going to set a lot of people financially free. And talking about decentralization, I don't know if that's going to be a reality. Even though I want it to be, because a decentralized world would be a lot better for the average person. But are the big boys going to allow a decentralized world? Because a centralized world would be more beneficial for them. So we shall see who wins this race because ideally a decentralized XDC ecosystem and being financially free would be the best thing that could happen to us. So we shall keep an eye. Looking at tweet from Payment Infrastructure News. One of the major concerns for US banks is their readiness for ISO 20022 compliance, particularly the mandated transition of all Fedwire payments to the international standard by March 31st, 2025, as well as the related deadlines set to be in testing by the end of 2024. So as you already know, XDC is a ISO compliant project. This means a lot of value is potentially going to be moving through the XDC blockchain. And something I never do guys is pay attention to the dates they mention. Because so far I've been in the crypto world for more than seven years and all I have seen is delays after delays. Nothing ever goes to plan. Because as you know, crypto is very complicated at the moment because even after being here for more than 10 years, we are still not fully regulated, which is a shame, guys. I honestly think crypto should have been globally adopted by now. But right now, guys, it's happening, right? Crypto is here to stay. We know that. So all you have to do is invest in the right places in utility. And XDC definitely is one of the most usable cryptos in the world. And yes, with all the world events that are happening right now, some mentions of a new pandemic, hopefully it doesn't spread globally. But yes, something is going to lead to the next stage. And sometimes these things happen so they can move faster. And as you might remember, guys, in the last pandemic, we moved faster for digital money because they seen paper money as one of the causes of spreading the last pandemic. So this is how it works, guys. A lot of the things in the world are pre-planned do not follow the masses all i would say is be prepared and when i say be prepared guys i mean be prepared financially have some money aside have some extra food extra water never leave anything to chance but as we see here guys the end game is all the value is going to move through the blockchain so it doesn't matter if iso happens this year or next year it's going to happen it's not if it's going to happen it's when it's going to happen and all i'm going to say here is buckle up and enjoy the show Looking at a tweet from Tokenizer, the adoption of MLETR has become rampant. Here is a global map displaying how the countries worldwide are beginning to adopt this framework for the future of paperless digital trade finance. So as soon as I look at this map, all I see is XTC everywhere. And as you can see here, many big nations have adopted MLETR. The UK, like I said before, has triggered that adoption because most of the countries in the world follow English law. And as you see here, right? Belize, you've got China, Germany, UAE, Japan, Philippines, just to mention a few, it's getting bigger. The adoption is going to be global because like I said before, everybody wants to be on that level playing field. And if they want to trade and send value cross borders for almost zero cost and instant, then yes, they will need to adopt MLETR because MLETR is using blockchain and that blockchain is the XTC network. And as I said before, guys, XTC very clearly is going to be global. We can see it right now on this map. As you see here, XTC is all over the world already. And that is just the beginning. So guys, buckle up. Looking at it from XTC Foundation, the XTC network has been selected by Plug and Play TC to launch an enterprise RWA tokenization accelerator. This initiative is designed to facilitate and encourage real-world asset organization at scale on XTC. So first of all, who are Plug and Play? They are working to drive the future forward with corporations, governments, startups, investors and universities. So they are connecting a lot of different big boys to blockchain. And which blockchain have they chosen? XTC network, right? Applications have already opened since yesterday and their mission is to accelerate blockchain innovation and RWA tokenization. 
This program starts early 2025 and ends in June 2025 during a summit. So what does this mean guys? Another massive RWA partnership. A company which is connecting some of the biggest boys in the world to blockchain is connected now to XDC to accelerate the adoption of RWA on the XDC blockchain. And this is just the beginning guys. We're going to be talking about one of the biggest partnerships we have right now which is talking about RWA but this is adding more and more RWA onto the XDC network. Like I said, there is a lot of value to be tokenized, guys. And like you've seen previously in my other videos, the RWA market is worth quite trillions of dollars because you're talking about tokenizing everything of value on the blockchain. And right now we can see XDC has been preaching this from the beginning. XDC is leading the RWA race. So guys, all I'm going to say here, stay grounded. Everything's happening exactly as it needs to be. XDC is being adopted globally. Keep on DCAing in if you can afford to do so. And keep your XDC safe and offline. I'm using a decent wallet, guys. Follow my ad. All the links are in this ad. No better wallet than the Decent Biometric Wallet. It offers native support for over 3,000 coins and tokens across 59 blockchain networks. And the best thing is, it's very secure. It has an encrypted storage, certified secure chip, biometric sensor, and firmware authenticity. So currently guys, using my referral link, you can get your hands on a 2-pack biometric wallet for only $189. The usual price is $318. You are getting a whopping $129 off. And if you want to buy the one pack biometric wallet, guys, it's only $109. The normal price is $159. So you are getting a whopping $50 off. So use these offers, guys, while they still exist. And to finish off, guys, I'm going to be talking about a tweet that I posted out two days ago. Why does XTC beat all competition? You should know the answer to this by now. I only need to talk about one partnership. And that partnership involves Securitize, BlackRock, who is the biggest asset manager in the world, and XTC. Because as you know, guys, earlier in the year, Securitize announced a $47 million strategic fund round, which was led by BlackRock. And like I said, guys, BlackRock is the biggest asset manager in the world with trillions of dollars under its management. And Securitize was chosen by BlackRock to lead the transfer for its first tokenized fund on a public blockchain. And XTC was clearly mentioned as one of the top four supported blockchains by Securitize. So this clearly highlights, guys, the growing importance of XTC in real-world asset tokenization and its integration with major financial players like BlackRock. So if you've got BlackRock on your side, do you really need anybody else? No, because whatever BlackRock does, the rest are gonna follow because he's the biggest asset manager in the world. So we don't need to worry guys, XTC is well established, well known in the world of crypto. And as you know, we are connected with some of the biggest names in the world. In the very near future guys, we're gonna be leading trade value RWA, and it's gonna bring at least a few hundred trillion dollars to the XTC network. And that's all we need guys. We don't need everything, but we are gonna get most of it. So all I'm gonna say guys, is embrace yourself and enjoy the damn show.